I didn't notice it until a little bit because it was kind of dark too and then he was wearing all black and then the gun was black. Last Friday, a planned deal to sell shoes on the streets of Northeast Ohio turned dangerous for Jillian Carr and her 14-year-old brother from Richfield. Through Instagram, the brother agreed to meet a man in this West Akron neighborhood and sell him a pair of Air Jordan Oreo shoes like these. Instead, two men came up to their car. One had a gun. The crooks took off with the Jordans. The siblings left terrified. It was so scary. We were both shaking, and he seemed like he didn't know what to do. He didn't know if they were kidding or not. And kidding around, and then he saw the gun. He was like, okay, you can just take them. Jillian says it's possible it was an airsoft gun, but two days earlier, in the same neighborhood, I just got robbed at gunpoint. This 19-year-old University of Akron student reported a silver revolver pointed at him looked real, while his Air Jordans, similar to these, were stolen. He did not want to be identified. He uh, then pulled the gun and said, these are mine now, and told me to walk away. And he pointed the gun at my face at that point and said bye. He was also contacted and agreed to sell through Instagram. It was my own fault. Like I walked into it pretty much. When you're meeting strangers in strange locations, it's not good. Lieutenant Rick Edwards told me either case could have ended tragically. you got kids with guns, you know, could end up in a fight, could end up in shots fired. There's a multitude of things that could happen. Jillian says lesson learned for her and her brother. He's not allowed to sell shoes anymore because of this. <laughs>